It's been a day, stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with. scattered all over my room i pulled myself together a little bit it's a little bit later on in the day and i'm showing you my mess around my whole place you guys know i like to prioritize my space and making it clean to go on with my day so here i am first moving olive off the bed into her little kitty window so i can make the bed really quickly this always makes me feel so much cleaner and especially because my desk and workspace is in the bedroom it's even more important for me to have this clean voila the bedroom is looking much better all of my countertops are clean the clothes are put away of course mr pickles is right by my side as always are you guys sick of my cats yet? Because they're literally like 50% of all of my content. I just can't help it. They always look so freaking cute and I love them way too much. And gorgeous view of the city. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm going to be doing a full week in my life vlog today. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've done like a full week in my life because you guys know my videos tend to get very, very long. But today's Monday, so I'm gonna film Monday through Friday, just like a typical work week in my life. And I think this will help me stay on track, stay focused on just trying to work during the week and really having my weekends be the weekends. It's crazy how vlogging can really like hold you accountable if you guys are new here my name is emily jean i'm a 22 year old i live at downtown detroit and i vlog my life started with a lot of beauty makeup content and now i kind of just share everything with you guys i try to just be an escape for some people maybe an inspiration for some or just relatable content to keep you guys motivated so i hope you guys enjoy my videos i've been vlogging a little bit all morning on my new camcorder if you guys saw my last vlog, I purchased this recently because my vlog camera is actually still broken. I'm using my broken camera still right now. I just can't like see the screen really. And I still need to get that figured out. But I've been vlogging a lot of like B-roll and fun clips on this Sony camera. And it's so funny because Emma Chamberlain, two weeks after I bought this, she did a podcast episode about like all of her favorite things right now or like product recommendations. And this was the first product she recommended. The Sony, like this exact one, the $200 Sony camera corner just because it's so light it's so easy to use it's more like fun to use there's just something about it it's more affordable obviously and it just gives you a whole nother look than like even your iphone would give you my favorite part is it's so light and i can like hold it like this and just bring it around it's so much easier than even this vlog camera bringing around so anyways i wanted to mention that again because a lot of my footage that you see will be like camcorder and i'm sure you guys can tell when it is kyle and i walked to starbucks this morning and i got a hot coffee i've been really liking americanos from starbucks lately because i've kind of been like not into starbucks or hot coffee at all because i feel like their quality and coffee has definitely changed but their americanos are really good so i get a grande americano with a splash of cream and i don't know i really like it i made a little breakfast for kyle and i once we got back and i pulled myself together a little bit obviously and then i just picked up the bedroom Room, put some laundry away from yesterday made the bed things like that it's already like two o'clock i've been doing like random work things within you know my cleaning it's kind of how 
I like to work most of the times, kind of bopping around getting things done around the apartment. I just made lunch, so I wanted to show you guys while I started this vlog. Um, I made Kyle and I, I called it a super sandwich just because I put a bunch of different stuff we had in the fridge. I've been so obsessed with Caprizi lately. Um, Caprizi sandwiches, Caprizi anything, which is basically just like basil, mozzarella, um, tomato, and balsamic, or like you could use a pesto in exchange for the basil. Pesto, tomatoes, salt, pepper, the mozzarella, then we had some ham, so I threw ham on there, and we have this um, jalapeno artichoke dip from Trader Joe's, put that on there, and I grilled it on the stove, so I'm very excited to eat this. It has a bunch of yumminess in it, and you guys know how I like my flavor, and I'm also finishing my cold coffee from yesterday that I never finished. So I'm trying to like save my coffees when I don't finish them and actually finish them the next day because you can just put it in the fridge and drink it later. So I'm enjoying this from Royal Oak Roast. And I was just going to do a few email computer things while I eat my lunch now and just start this vlog. Say hello, welcome to the week in my life. Since I'm doing a full week, I'm probably just gonna show you snippets throughout the entire week and not show you like everything I'm doing because not all of it's exciting and you know, that would be a literal three hour long vlog or something crazy like that. Hi guys, I'm about to start organizing all of my bikinis. I have this entire bin. Hopefully you can see it down there of all of my bikinis. I have so many. I started doing like bikini try on hauls um, when I first started my channel. They're some of my biggest videos for like not really good reasons, but um, I used to love making those videos for you guys like for spring break and stuff. So I've always had a lot, a lot of bikinis. I've gotten rid of so many, donated so many. I think I've even sold a few that like I never even wore, but I still always have so many of them. And I'm going to Cabo next month. It's actually almost April. I'm going, I think April 16th with my mom and we're going for my little brother's senior trip. So I'm just kind of tagging along and I want to organize all of my bathing suits really kind of slim them down I am definitely over the whole Shein of it all I haven't shopped on there bought anything from there for so long and a lot of my bathing suits are from Shein so I want to just kind of go through them get rid of a lot of them that are kind of just old and um, just not like nice quality that I don't wear or that I don't feel good in I don't feel confident in or don't fit me right um, instead of just holding on to all of them so I'm gonna dump this on my bed and just go through them, organize them, and then kind of like fold them nicely and put them away. Because I do wanna buy some newer bikinis and maybe do a bikini haul of some sort for you guys, but I don't wanna shop at Shein. I wanna get some nicer um, bikinis. I've been looking at Revolve. I really wanna try some from Triangle. I used to have a Triangle bikini when it first came out years ago, but they have some really cute styles now. So I wanna kinda of bounce around and pick a few out for my trip. That will be in the future. So I am going to organize these. Let's just dump it out. There's so many in here and I just like stuff them in here which is actually probably bad because they do kind of get like more ruined. I feel like it should be more uh, gentle with your bathing suits like laying them flat. Shein, Victoria's Secret, which Victoria's Secret now has bathing suits again which I kind of want to check out theirs too. Zaffle, what are some of the other brands? Everything but water, um, some nasty gal ones, Katomi is one of my favorite bikini brands. I have a lot of their sets and I actually have a video with them on my channel if you want to check out those. I really, really like these. They're definitely like really skimpy, but I love them. They're super cute and high quality. This cheetah one is Katomi too. Let's cue the montage to get this situated. <laughs> Already, as I'm going through these, um, I feel like I'm gonna need to try on a lot of them to really see how I feel in them because I haven't worn many of them in so long. So 
let me know should i do like a separate video like trying on my whole bikini collection like a spring bikini collection clean out so let me know if you guys would want to see that because i do think i'm going to need to try all of these on i don't want to do it today i'm definitely feeling like bloated and not my best so i want to feel like good and confident when i try all of them on to see what i really like and what fits so for right now i'm just gonna kind of clean through the ones that i just don't personally like at all like the patterns i'm just like over it um or if they're just super super old and then i'm sorting them by one piece and bikinis and just laying them flat over here i don't know if you guys can see but i'm laying them flat just to you know get the wrinkles out a little bit more instead of shoving them all into that bin i need a full length mirror in my bedroom that is definitely a must and i've been saying it for a long time so i should probably just get that done with because i would actually use it for like filming and stuff the only full length mirror that we have in the apartment is out in the living room but it gets pretty like dark out there and the backdrop is obviously very open so it's hard to like film and see in it and like i never take photos in it because it just doesn't look good but if i got a full length mirror in the bedroom i kind of think it needs to go in this corner because it's really the only spot i have room but i did just hang up my decennial prints which i'll show you in a second i have like so many updates you guys because i really haven't vlogged a lot recently and i also have this tiny wall this thin little space in between the windows with the curtains here so there could be a full length mirror here but i feel like the curtains might get in the way uh, maybe i'll order that tonight on either amazon or wayfair or i know the ikea mirrors are really good but i don't think you can get them delivered maybe we need to go pick one up I don't know i'm just like thinking out loud to you guys i'm gonna get back to organizing going through these bikinis now pickles is in the bin body what are you doing pickles here we go again Well, you guys know all I ever do is clean because I enjoy it and <laughs> I feel like a lot of my work revolves around making messes and then cleaning it all up again and just life in general. I want to clean up my makeup stuff now, organize all of this, organize, put away my jewelry, just like clean up this area since I've finished over here. Here are all the bathing suits I'm keeping and again, let me know if you guys want to see that video. Um, I'm assuming you're going to say yes, so I think I'm just like going to film it regardless and over here i have some of the cover-ups that i still need to just like look through and fold but i think i'm going to keep most of them um because i don't have too many and a lot of them like match the bathing suits this purple these purple little shorts actually were thrifted i love these like little swim shorts so um yeah i just want to clean up the makeup and organize this stuff and i have a couple pr packages that i've already opened and I want to share that stuff with you guys. But first, let's clean this. And then I can show you some new goodies that I picked up. I also have a huge Sephora order coming in today too. I keep like checking the status update because I think I have to go pick it up at like um, a CVS or something. I don't know. They couldn't deliver it to me. So I'm excited for that. I think I'm going to do a whole separate like big Sephora haul because I really went in and got a lot of new exciting makeup. I'm really, really excited for that. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to pick that up later today. And I have some other Sephora stuff that I bought even before. So I'm kind of debating if I want to add that into the Sephora haul or if that should just be separate. Do another quick little montage cleaning footage. And then I'll show you some new makeup goodies. Girl. Hi, baby.
guys I recently got these giant clips from Amazon because no claw clips can ever like hold my hair and I feel like I don't even have that thick of hair like I used to it's definitely gotten a lot longer but like just the regular clips never really worked for me so I got the biggest ones I could find I'll link them down below it came with a black one and then like a brown Taurus print one and I've been really loving them because I can actually like put my hair back in a claw clip it actually looks cute and like put together when before when I was using the small ones it would like work enough to pull the hair out of my face but I couldn't like style it and like feel comfortable like leaving the house and it not falling I got this one I'll actually show you really quickly okay well I think the other big brown one is in my um, nightstand drawer so it came with a black and a brown one and then I got another pack I think this was a six pack of these smaller ones, kind of like regular size, but they're the square shape. And I think the square shape just holds a lot better. So these are really cute for like half up, half down. And I can use these like this style too, but I do like the really big ones a little bit more, but these came with like more colors and stuff. This is only some of them. So I'll link both of the packs down below. They're very inexpensive for how many you get. Compared to like buying an individual one at a store, they'll be like the same price as a pack of six. So I'll link those down below. I just quickly made a liquid IV in my Table Rock Yeti mug. I love this mug so much. Table Rock's my management, if you didn't know that. But yeah, let's talk about some makeup because I got some really fun PR packages. These were actually sent to my dad's house. They need to update my address. So he dropped them off recently. I don't know when these were actually fully sent. So I might be a little bit outdated. Obviously I already opened to them and all the lip gloss you've seen in this vlog so far have been from one of these boxes because I couldn't wait. And then this is my Sephora bag. I don't know why they gave me like a random black bag. But this was the Sephora um, little trip that I did a few weeks ago and I've been planning to film a makeup video around it and then Sephora reached out to work with me on like their upcoming sale which is the first week of April and I ordered a bunch more stuff to you know do a video for that so now I'm thinking I'm going to combine this Sephora stuff with the Sephora stuff that I'm going to pick up later today, my big package, and just do one big video, but I'll still share with you what I have in here today. Okay, let's start with Laura Mercier. I love Laura Mercier so much. Very grateful to be on their PR list. They've been sending me PR for so long, and they always send, like, handwritten, like, gorgeous cursive little cards. It's just a really beautiful brand. I have a lot of products that I love from them. So in this first box, they sent me their new tinted moisturizer. One thing that I love about Laura Mercier is they take a lot of their iconic products and make like a new formula from it instead of creating all these separate lines within their brand. They kind of just keep their same staple products but update them throughout the years and i think that's a really smart way to do it and it makes a lot of sense to the consumer plus you can buy products that you already love but have like the new thing within it so for example this is introducing the new tinted moisturizer light reflector it's a natural skin illuminator it has spf of 25 so laura mercier has a tinted moisturizer that's like super iconic a lot of people love it um my best friend nicole like that's her favorite um, foundation because it's very light and natural and easy every day. You can even like apply it with your hands. I have mine somewhere. Yeah, here's mine right here. This is just the tinted moisturizer oil free. This is SPF of 20 in it, but they sent me the new one. I already took it out of the box and everything. Um, this is the shade 3N1 Sand. A little yellow that I would normally go for, but I think it will still match okay. This is basically just a super glowier, a little bit more sheer version of their original. So think like Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter that everybody loves. This like famous TikTok product that, pe that people are wearing as a foundation. They kind of like updated this for like an illuminating version of it. So I hope that's making sense to you guys. I haven't tried it out yet, um, but I tested it on my hand and it looks really pretty. Probably gonna be the perfect product for when I go to Cabo just to like throw on in the morning when we're laying out by the pool and just like hanging out. You guys, I'm one of those people that like wants to hold on to like boxes and like things like this for so long. And, or I kind of used to be that way, but now I'm at this point, whenever I receive anything or buy anything, I just take it out of the package, take the tags off right away, because I know I'm keeping it. So why like hold on to the box until like one day I finally decide to throw it out? 
just throw it out right away get rid of it and it won't clutter your space oh, it also came with this little pack of cute little beaded bracelet so thank you Laura Mercier and we have one more product from them and this one I'm even more excited about because it's a lip gloss package and anything lips but specifically lip glosses like that's the best thing to receive because I'm always wearing lip glosses it's probably my favorite makeup product I feel like it's just very basic this is their new um, Laura Mercier lip gloss hydrating balm gloss so it's like glass but with an accent on it and these are just a few of the shades I think um, it says they sent some of their favorite shades within the range it's a innovative new hybrid lip formula that combines a mirror like high shine glossy finish with a comfort of a lip balm so I've actually already tried these on I've been wearing them all day today didn't really read that it's supposed to like feel like a lip balm and it really does they're really comfortable they're really hydrating they're really really glossy and I actually love the shade range I, I think they have more but even just these five shades are like the perfect colors you have your like super nudey nudie nudie light peachy color then you have like a more true like natural nude you have this pretty kind of like my lips but better color this is a corally shade and it has like sparkles in it which i love and then this last one is kind of like a brighter pink a richer color earlier i had the creme caramel on which was gorgeous over a natural lip liner and then halfway throughout the day i wanted to try this darker one on because i have been into a little bit more color on my lips and I feel like normally I would never buy a lip gloss this color, but once I tried it on and like I've been wearing it, I think a bright color in a lip gloss when it's like a sheer gloss ends up being the perfect amount of color. I also love the applicator on these, you guys. It's like hugs your lips. They smell like vanilla. Like these are really, really good glosses. And yeah, like I love this color. I feel like it just gives you a really bright, fresh, but still natural look even when it fades a little bit it kind of like leaves a little bit of color on the lips which i love so i'm very excited about this package and i'm definitely gonna be wearing these glosses all the time i'm actually just gonna take them out of the package finally now dark one is the shade rose syrup that i just put on the coral is a baby doll and that's a great summer shade and there's creme caramel which is the nude like regular nude this is vanilla i think um a more like even more nude color and then the lightest nudie nudie pink color is rose actually like literally the color of rosé so this one's really pretty I haven't tried this on but this will probably be a great topper right in the middle I'm very excited about those thank you so much Laura Mercier add these glosses right to my drawer here with my favorite products this like section has already been very long I'm gonna run through these products here and if you want to know more about the Sephora products just stay tuned for my big Sephora haul that will be coming very very soon probably the video after this to be honest okay first off I got the pro brush 64 because everyone talks about this did I already show you guys what I got now I'm thinking if I showed you what I got in my last vlog I don't know I'm gonna show you anyway. Okay, you guys, today is just turning into a day full of goodies. On our way back from picking up my package, we stopped in Nike. We have a Nike outlet right on Woodward, downtown Detroit. And honestly, it's one of the best Nike outlet stores ever. They either have something exactly that I want and it's so cheap or they don't have anything at all. So I like to pop in, not like all the time because I'm not even a big Nike girl or like athletic girl in general, but we do like to go in there 
pretty often I would say to check up on what's happening. I've been wanting some new fresh white sneakers because always need new fresh white sneakers but um, also been wanting some new gym shoes. I literally have the same gym shoes that I've been wearing my Nike Zooms for probably four or five years and they're still in pretty like they're still in great shape they're just really old so I've been wanting some new ones and I've definitely gotten off of my gym grind for a while now. I literally probably haven't worked out like in a month or I've maybe gone like once or twice in a month. Today's gonna be the day. Kyle and I are gonna go to the gym later tonight. I wanna try and work out every single day this week. Honestly, half the reason I don't wanna go is because I just don't wanna like leave my house and have to walk to the gym when it's freezing cold out and like bundle up and then have to take all of it off to work out. It's very lazy of me that I don't wanna do that. Um, but I just find as the weather gets nicer, I wanna work out more so anyways with all that being said i got some new white air maxes and i think these will be perfect for working out plus it'll just like motivate me to go because cute new sneakers at the gym will make me go to the gym i was watching maggie mcdonald's new vlog and it was air max day recently so kind of like on the theme of that um all white air maxes they're really really cute with a black you know nike on it and these were literally less than 55 dollars they were $64 on sale and then 20% off that. Like my total was $55 for these shoes and the t-shirt that I got, which is crazy. So love these fresh white sneakers. I'm gonna wear them to the gym tonight, see how they feel, if they're comfortable and I like them for working out because I like a specific sneaker for that versus like a sneaker that I would wear like walking around the city or on a day-to-day -day basis. Then I got this little t-shirt. It's a cropped little t-shirt. It was actually in the girls section um, and they have a really cute girl section. Like I feel like they're young like baby kids clothes are cuter than like the woman's stuff. So I got this. I got it in a size large. I could have got a size small and it still would have fit me like fitted but I kind of wanted it to be baggy so when I wear it with leggings it's kind of like looser on the top and I thought it was really cute. I love the USA, love the white, and again, this was like literally $10 or less. Super, super cheap. So, big score at the Nike store. That rhymes. And we weren't even planning on going there. We were just walking by. Oh, I just realized like the actual texture on this t-shirt is really, really cool. So I love that. Okay, Pickles, you don't need to investigate everything. Get rid of boxes, get rid of bags. Okay, I'm gonna open up the Sephora box now and just give you guys a sneak peek. And then I'm gonna look at all myself and I'll show you guys in the Sephora haul video. I feel like I've already vlogged so much for just Monday for this week in my life, so. I don't know how much I'll vlog for the rest of the day. Hey, excuse me, you're gonna get hurt. Kyle is still out right now. He's picking up some french fries from a local place because I have leftover pulled pork to make pulled pork sandwiches, but we don't have like any sides. Normally I have like frozen fries or like something like that in the freezer, but they're all out. So I thought we could just pick up some fries and have that on the side with our pulled pork. Definitely not the healthiest dinner, but it's so yummy, so good. And it's just like easy leftovers for today. I think there's one more item from this Sephora order that is coming like later this week. I think it had to be like shipped out from somewhere else. Here is a sneak peek. Okay, now I'm gonna go through all this and um, geek out over makeup for a little bit while I wait for Kyle. And I will talk to you guys later, probably when we're headed to the gym or like ready for the gym. I'll show you my new shoes and t-shirt and stuff because I'm probably gonna wear it. Yeah. Oh my god, Pickles is literally biting the tripod. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Oh, you're rolling over? What do you want to say? Kiss. Oh, that's nice kiss. <laughs> It's so obvious 
But I'm holding back because you don't want to feel like I want you You don't feel like I want you Hi guys, good morning. It's the next day. It's Tuesday. I think it's like 9 30 now I already made my coffee and had some avocado toast Don't judge my hair. I don't know what's happening with my hair and I woke up just like really tired still But I've been getting a lot better at just like getting up when I wake up and not like falling back asleep Or like going back to sleep and waking up two hours later So Kyle normally wakes up around like 8 for work so I've been trying to follow his footsteps. So I'm awake and um, today I have been slacking on editing. You guys, if you watch me all the time, you know, like I love to edit, but with the content that I film and the videos that I film and all the footage that I take, editing takes a really, really long time for me. And um, when you're doing this for so long, I'm just like very burnt out with editing. And honestly, I feel like that's never going to change until I like maybe hire an editor, which I really don't. I want to do for the workload, but I don't want to do it because I want to be in control of my videos. I thought I would go to a coffee shop today or just like get out of the apartment to make it a computer work full editing day. I always find when I leave the house, work at a coffee shop, that's when I am the most productive in like the editing world because I can put my headphones on, I'm in the zone and it almost like feels like I'm at work because I'm able to leave. And usually on days like this, I mean, I used to work at coffee shops. Like when I first started my YouTube channel, I would work at a coffee shop literally Monday through Friday. Like it was my office. I don't as often now, but I'm trying to like get back to that point. So I think I'm just going to walk down to Starbucks today because I like the Starbucks that's close to me. It's like a good vibe inside. Um, and they always have like open tables and stuff. But I was gonna say, normally when I go do this, I like to actually get ready, put on a cute outfit, do my hair, do my makeup, you know, the whole thing, just to make it feel like a real work day. I feel like it's really hard to feel that way in today's time. If you work from home, if you have a remote job, if you do like content creation like me, I feel like you guys understand. Sorry, I'm getting creeped out. I forgot I set up the ice machine to make some more ice for our freezer. Um, I wanted to have an iced coffee, but we didn't have any ice, so I made a hot one. This is actually the Emma Chamberlain um, coffee, the like bags, the early bird. It's the like highest caffeinated one, I believe. It's actually really, really good. They accidentally sent me like a whole pack of the early bird instead of the matcha that I ordered, but it's fine. It's actually really, really yummy. So anyways, I just wanted to say good morning. Um, I'm gonna get ready. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog of that. Maybe like speed through it. I need to make the bed. I've been trying to make the bed every single day when I wake up because I like going to bed in a made clean bed. And I also, you guys, I'm going to Cabo so soon and I really just wanna do some shopping for Cabo. Like I really want some new cute summer pieces, bathing suits. And honestly, mostly to like make content around for me. Like it's part of my job shopping sometimes. And I just really want to like explore a bunch of different websites that I haven't ordered from or just like trying a bunch of different things to be able to film for you guys and to like to be able to wear in Cabo. So I might do some shopping research, if you will, today as well. Anyways, that's what's going on in my mind right now, my thoughts. Um, I'll probably just like bring my camcorder to the coffee shop today and like film some b-roll while I'm out working But I really want to stay focused and like in the zone on my computer Which means actually whenever I go to the sh coffee shop, I like to charge my laptop like pretty well before Just in case I um, Just in case I Don't have a seat with a plug the Starbucks, I know I will, but sometimes I go to coffee shops and they're super busy or they don't have a lot of plugs. And if my laptop is dead, that obviously is a problem. 
So I'm gonna plug this in. You guys also have just been like slacking so much and sharing everything with you guys. But I did get the new MacBook Pro. Is this even? Bro, this is my old charger. I got the new MacBook and I'm obsessed with it. It is so good. If you guys do any sort of creation on your laptop and like making larger projects, videos, photos, anything, I am telling you the new MacBook Pro is so worth it. My old one was my very first MacBook from like 2015. So I definitely needed a new one. I never wanted to buy that like second generation they came out with like the touch bar because I just heard a lot of bad things about that, especially for like processing stuff. So finally they redid the MacBook Pro and it's definitely like made for creators with creators in mind. It has the SD card ports again and it's just so fast and it's so nice. So I got my laptop, but then the camera broke. So we should probably maybe make an appointment to get this camera fixed as well because it takes like multiple weeks. So I've just been kind of waiting for the right time to get my vlog camera fixed. Yeah, I am like completely rambling now. So I'm going to start getting ready, do my makeup. My hair is super dirty and oily. So I think I'm just going to do a slick back pony or bun and put on a comfy, cute, but warm outfit for the day because it's really cold out in the city still, even though it's like the sun's out, thank God. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set you guys here, let the laptop charge and start getting ready. I was listening to the What We Said podcast this morning. I haven't finished it yet obviously so let's get ready i'm gonna have a goal to be out of the house at least before 11 it's 9 30 now and i think that will be a good goal so cue the music I just finished getting ready and I actually really like my makeup today. I did it very quickly. It's a little after 10 o'clock right now. I used that new Laura Mercier Illuminator tinted moisturizer and then I did some more like concealer all over my face for a little bit more coverage. And then I literally just used one of the Milani baked blushes as my blush and like contour and on my eyes for a little bit of color and it actually matches this little zippy really well. So I'm really liking the glowy kind of corally peachy makeup. I don't have any mascara on just cause I don't wanna. Fun fact about me is I actually don't like wearing mascara just because I hate taking it off and I hate the feeling at the end of the day. So if I don't like have to wear it or if it doesn't really go with the look, then I just don't do anything on my eyes. And I just did some clear brow gel in my brows. I know some people hate the like no makeup on the eye look, but I think it looks really fresh and I feel more comfortable without mascara on. Like if I wanna itch my eye or something, I'm not gonna smudge anything around. So I just paired it with this Aritzia waffle little zippy. I love these. I have multiple colors in them. And then I'm wearing the Curve Love. Let me put this down. The Curve Love um, jeans from Abercrombie, which is one of the places I want to look at some new spring clothes. They have really cute dresses right now that I want to check out. But yeah, these fit me really, really well. I think I'm just going to put some white sneakers on, probably a big long coat, and that will be it. I probably should wear a hat because it's cold out and I feel like a hat just makes me so much warmer. 
but my hair is just like slicked back in a pony so probably just gonna leave it like this it's not too far of a walk um i'm gonna get my shoes on pack my work bag together and it's it's the end of March, so April is literally, April 1st is on Friday, so I think I'm also going to do a bunch of scheduling and like planning out my whole April calendar. I normally like to do that at the end of the month. Very organized. Um, of course, I'm going to be traveling mid-April, so that's definitely going to like split up my month, but I'm very excited and I feel like this trip is just kind of inspiring me. Plus, like the spring is really my season. My birthday's in May. Spring in general is just very nostalgic to me. Like I love when it starts warming up in Michigan just getting excited for like the summertime so I am going to get all my stuff together head to the coffee shop I'm probably gonna bring my camcorder to vlog little clips um because I don't want to bring this camera yeah I think that is it I'm wearing that new Laura Mercier lip gloss too which is literally so gorgeous like I'm very very into it what do you think pickles you in the sun buddy hi honey hi baby